Hey everyone, this is what? Rebecca here with Rebecca's Wellness, where we talk about all things wellness related, physically, emotionally, mostly crochet. <laughs> so anyway, I have lots of yarn friends and crochet friends, and I thought that you would be interested in seeing some of my completed works. So this one that I'm wearing is called the Haven Cardigan. This is a free pattern um, that is available, although, so it is available on Ravelry, and they do also have a paid pattern that you can get. I think it was only $5, and it's well worth it to not deal with the ads. Um, anyway, let me show it to you. So it's actually, well, let me show you this detail. So look at the cool, so you can see all the bobble stitches here. Cool, weird pocket. I don't think that's how they had it in the pattern, but that's how I put it on there. Cause that's how it lays, see? It lays on me like that. So it's like perfect. So this is like a big collar that starts here and goes all the way around the neck and ends here. And with this, and it really keeps your neck warm because it's kind of bunched up back here. Let me spin so you guys can see it better. So it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you, if I laid it out like this, you can see that it's actually a huge rectangle. with the sides sewn up right here. Sides sewn up here and then this one little bitty sleeve added, one on each side. So, it's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, my friend requested this to be made for her and I did a test run first before I got out her yarn of choice, which is cotton, which is this one isn't that nice so this is I love this cotton from Hobby Lobby and I just finished the rectangle so it's just a big rectangle right now and so the next step step is to sew up the side seams put pockets on and the sleeves and then oh the long collar which actually takes forever <laughs> so yeah the cotton this one is acrylic and it's fine it's regular acrylic um actually i wasn't very happy it's got like one of the strands of nylon going through it and i cut it a lot and that was kind of annoying but let me tell you it's an altogether different ball game working with this cotton so this is really cool i really like it i'm a little concerned about the weight so i hope it's not too heavy for her. <laughs> still gotta add some more to it so that was pretty fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually had planned on selling this. So do you guys do this? So do you do a test run before you do, before you grab out the expensive yarn? That's what I do. And I'm getting more and more and more confident in my skills. And I probably will not need to do that too much longer. But especially if it's a complicated pattern. And both of these, I think, are intermediate patterns. So yeah, I had to go through it with the cheaper yarn. But my plan was to sell this one. But you know, I put it on. I was chilly this morning. And I had it on most of the day. And the more I wore it, the more I loved it. So I think I'm keeping that one. So that's called the Haven Cardigan. That's written by Jess Copham. C-O-P-P-O-M. It is on Ravelry. And I'll put the link at the bottom of the description. So you guys can click on that and go get that. That one's free. Make and Do Crew. Yeah, they have a big website with a lot of patterns. So I think you guys will enjoy that a lot. Um, I have one more thing to show you. I actually do have a couple of yarn orders that are taking forever. I guess everything is taking forever nowadays. Kind of hoping they all arrive on the same day so I can unbox them all for you. So you can see what all I got. 
Oh, have you guys heard of this yarn sub website? So I made a cowl out of some yarn that I fell in love with and I worked it until it was gone and I was sad that it was gone and I looked through my huge stash and I couldn't find anything else and I searched the web. In fact, I thought there was some kind of a app or something where you can scan the barcode and it would like search is that an app you have to download or what but it didn't work and I searched the web and I could not find this yarn it's a uh, hooks and loops yarn colors c-o-l-o-u-r-s it's a beautiful rainbow variegated um it's gorgeous anyway went to yarn sub typed it in and it gave me the results of there's like four or five other companies that make the same thing so I got a couple of them on the way. I'm pretty excited. Plus, I have a hard time passing up some clearance. So, I'll be showing you that too. Not here yet. Ready for the last thing? Here's the last thing. I'm super excited. So, you guys, are you guys into the parlor thing? Because I was early on in the parlor thing this summer. I downloaded parlor. I've been on parlor. One of the first people that I met on parlor is... The person who wrote up this next pattern her name is Hannah Gorecki and she wrote this pattern in fact she was in testing phases and I bothered her a lot <laughs> like when is it ready as soon as it was ready I bought it I think it wasn't five minutes old I bought it so it's called the Hubble Creek pocket shawl and this is my first experience with cables and it was yummy I loved it very much I have some very expensive yarns that will look beautiful in this shawl and I cannot wait to do it. But of course, I did my first one in Red Heart Ombre, which um, is not my favorite yarn, but I've washed it and the people are all right. They use a lot of sizing in their yarn and as soon as you wash it one time, all that sizing disappears and it gets soft. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Can you see those cables? Oh, do I have it folded? Oh, I have it folded the wrong way. Ha! <laughs> Can't see the cables that way. Isn't that pretty? Look at those cables and those bead stitches. They were so fun. And you know what? Red Heart does make the best ombre. Really long changes don't like short changes. I don't like abrupt changes. And it seems like I see a lot of abrupt changes. I'm like, why did you... So people, what they're doing is they're cutting them apart in color um, controlling. And I'm like, well, then why did you spend the big bucks to get a shawl if you're just going to cut them apart? Why don't you just go through your stash and find similar colors? But So an abrupt color changes makes it look like you knotted it right there in the middle and I just don't like it but this is not that at all look how beautiful this is look isn't that gorgeous it is beautiful that color change is amazing aren't those cables gorgeous does it look like a chain link fence there's the best part and here on these pockets since you know so this one, of course, obviously is sewn this direction, and the po or crocheted. The pockets are crocheted this direction. So look, you can't even see hardly a color change. If you look real close, you can see a little bit of it on this pocket. But isn't that pocket cute? Aren't those bead stitches at the top adorable? This is great. And looky here, fringe. So this is not in the pattern, but I put it on there. Twisted fringe. So look, there's no raw edges at the bottom at all. So nothing to tangle. It's a pain in the butt, but it is, the results are worth it. Look how pretty that is. Love it. Love it. Let's see if the other pocket, I think you can see the color change. You can see a little bit more color change in this pocket. See how you see it's a little bit lighter gray at the bottom. Isn't that a subtle change? I love it. And since I washed it yesterday, it is so soft. I love it. So this is actually available for sale. Isn't that pretty? I'm so happy. I have done so many pocket shawls 
This is the best one. See, they're just at the right length. I really, really like it. I can't wait to get this in some natural fibers. So anyway, there you can see it really good. Looks like a chain link fence, doesn't it? See? Anyway, I really like it, and that's pretty much all. Worked a couple of washcloths. I cannot wait to get some cool orange hats and cowls done. Anyway, that's all I had for you. Leave me a comment. I'd like to hear from you. And there'll be some yarn hauls here very, very soon. Thank you all. Have a great night. Bye.